Time to check on stories making headlines on the global front from the deepening crisis in Ukraine to another major earthquake striking South America. We go live to our Paul Lee at the News Center. Paul, let's start with Ukraine. It looks like Russian President Vladimir Putin has stirred up the pot once again. That's right, Jay. This time, Putin is threatening to cut off gas deliveries to the country, a move that the U.S. is calling a tool of coercion. This as NATO says Russia has deployed tens of thousands of troops on the eastern Ukrainian border. Our Connie Kim reports. The United States was quick to respond to Russian President Vladimir Putin's warning that Moscow may cut its gas supply to Ukraine. It has accused Russia of trying to take control of Ukraine using its natural resources as a leverage point. We condemn Russia's efforts to use energy as a tool of coercion against Ukraine. Ukraine is now paying $485, a price clearly not set by market forces and well above the average price paid by EU members. The State Department spokesperson also added that Washington is encouraging Ukraine and its western border allies to prepare to reverse natural gas flows in the pipeline so that Kiev has access to additional gas supplies if needed. Putin's warning came after Kiev missed a deadline to pay its 2.2 billion U.S. dollar gas debt. In a letter to 18 European countries, Putin said gas giant Gazprom will be compelled to require that Ukraine make upfront payments and that if the back payments are not made, the gas tycoon could completely or partially seize gas deliveries as a last resort. Moscow's threat is worrying for European countries as pipelines transiting Kiev carry Russian gas to several European countries, including Germany, the largest Russian gas consumer. Meanwhile, NATO released satellite images of the eastern Ukrainian border in late March and early April. They showed that some 40,000 Russian troops were deployed along with warplanes and helicopters. An official from NATO says this is a capable force that is ready to quickly move into Ukraine with orders. The revelations of the pictures come before top diplomats from the U.S., Russia and Europe are set to gather for a ministerial-level meeting for next week. Connie Kim, Arirang News.